So, uh, no, guys. You, you know. So, uh, let's see. Hello. Okay. Oh, Red. I have an end of bow. I have an end of bow. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> Red is here. Red is here. Red oh, I have an end of bow. Red is here. Red is here. So, yeah. So we are ready to halfway throughout the match, and then it seems that Kisses has the accuracy advantage, and with uh with seventy seventy k defense, seventy k score difference there. So yeah. everyone, this is Red Fangirl here, and I'm the commentator for this uh, particular match. Uh, Red is here. Red is here. Oh, Red I have an end of bow. And this looks like um, a match between like uh, Brick Green Reefs and an, M an MSL team here. And I reckon they are already uh, finished their warm up, so I think they were gonna seeing the bands. And I, we're seeing here that potassium banning Alice in Wonderland, which is oddly, oddly interesting here because I think they're not being used to the slow jams on that song. Oh, I 
have an end of bow. And so we, um, the NMSL side banning Sosui Brunei's, which is quite interesting too, because I don't know their speed capabilities on this uh, finals. I got him. Oh, we're gonna see some like I think uh, catching with like a long note picks regardless. songs because I barely like skip all of them and I just don't know uh, what here? what's the context of this oh, warm up. <laughs> They are many colors, which is an interesting choice, even if this is probably arguably the easiest pick. And I'm not sure if like they're gonna sustain like a uh, much higher accuracy than most of the most of the maps in the pool. Starting soon enough to uh, match, and we'll be joining with uh, Bob Shiss in the uh, oh, voice chat. Hello. Hey, hello. So I don't think there's nothing else we can say about this map. It's pretty fun to play. I think. Well, it 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 does it does it is pretty fun. Like. It just goes straight forward, although with a slight of a BPM change. Yeah, it gets faster towards the end. You might see some chokes. Oh, I think we have a break oh, already. Potassium, already? yeah. Yeah. Already finding a break. So the lead is starting to lift. Inch away a little bit to NMSL side, and I think 
it does it doesn't look like they're pretty much getting an accuracy tofu is uh, a little bit of a um, struggle in keeping accuracy just because on one particular anchor is actually yeah it's not a huge arc battle i think it's oh it's going towards the australian team now it's just flashing yeah just slowly getting back but it, we're not like, entering the, uh, the hardest section I think Gene is falling slightly behind on accuracy. He's below the 99 mark, so that's gonna affect the score a little. Yeah, yeah. Yin oh, we see another break. Nice. Oh, another break from Tassi. Oh, that's not good. It's like a 10,000 point ish difference, although Yin's is starting yeah. to struggle oh, with his accuracy. Oh, potassium, another miss. Mm, this is not very good for the Australian team. We see more breaks. More breaks from potassium. Serious are holding strong, but I don't think it's gonna be enough if potassium keeps missing. Oh, we see a miss from Yin. Oh, you really I don't think you have too. enough time though. I, oh, they're still oh. so close though. Oh, that was oh, a 4k difference. 3,400 points. Oh, that was very close. Yeah, that was like Gracious. a such a close battle, but even that, that's not gonna be enough. Yeah, and the ratios are not very different actually. We have 520, 533, and 570. And we have a bit more by Yin, who seems to have struggled with accuracy now. Yeah, what's interesting is that like the Australian team, most likely they have, they have like a better ratio. It's like rainbow side. Well, yeah. if, if you can look, if you can look at like hundreds. Yeah, yeah, like seventeen to hundreds from center, which is respectable. Yeah, it's sad that Potassium F found so many bad judgments, and his score went down a lot. That would have been a really nice score. So now we're going to see a pick from the Australian team. The Chinese team has won their pick. Oh, they're picking of Amnesia. Oh, my oh God. no. I do not like this map. Like they're going to straight into the speed pick. Wait, is this, one, is this one the one with the jump drills at the start? Nah, not particular. There's like 250 BPM light jump stream, and then it ends up like a 280 jump trail level. Oh yeah, I got confused with the other rice pick. Like, I'm, I'm wondering if they can actually sustain this kind of speed, rather, because they're like, there's a particular break section, but the speed section itself is really hard. Yeah, I think the Chinese team can, can hold pretty strong in terms of speed. I think that although the Australian team is faster, uh, they might not be as accurate on these kind of price maps. <laughs> someone, someone mentioning in the chat that Dragonlord saying that they're getting Vortex maps out of the way, so there's no Vortex maps left in the pool now. Well, that's good. Alright, we're going into it right now, and seems like if if they can actually manage the streams a lot, it's gonna help the call their teams call it a lot. Yeah, this is also draining stamina wise. This is a long pick, uh, or yeah, it's kind of long. No one holding a ninety nine. Although Tassi oh, is kind of close still. Oh, Topo missed. He's struggling so much with this. Oh, I mean, he fell below the S threshold. He's at 94 now. We see a miss from Zenobia, but the accuracy elites are on the Australian side. Potassium still holding like the full combo, most likely, and Yin as well, but their accuracy is so much lower. Yeah, the top pros are holding combo while the other are holding a little bit more accuracy. Except for Tofu, of course, who had a lot of trouble. But 
yeah, this part of the mob is pretty straightforward. They can get a little bit of free combo. Oh, oh I think there goes the full missed. combo. Oh, he broke out the long note. That's not good for a Chinese team, and the lead goes back to the Australian. Yeah, Topo manages to um, aim back at his accuracy a little bit. Yeah, I and think now Tofu it comes to speed up. section. I think Tofu's, Tofu's hits are very spread, and he's not having the best of the times with accuracy, but he's still comboing, so I guess it doesn't matter as much. Oh, it's it's another miss by Finally, game. getting into the 99 threshold. And oh, he is we see a lot of miss. Oh, Everyone has missed. a lot of miss across the board. Oh my, this is such a massacre. <laughs> oh my god. I guess this actually is already that brutal and it trips yeah. on all the players. Yeah, it's pretty hard to play. There's another miss from Ying in not the very hard part actually. It's just long notes. I mean if you look at the, like the accuracy deficit, they are like two percent higher than NMSL right now. Like look at the score yeah. difference, like almost yeah, we have a, right now. Almost a hundred thousand points of difference. This is huge. I don't think they m can come back unless something really tragic happens to the Australian team. Yeah, there's like a, one more speed section left. I, I, like, I don't know how bad it was for like the upcoming uh, section here. It's just like a better break. Yeah, 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 and they even have combat advantage, so... Mm. Everyone has the 400 mark, but uh, Ying is very likely to miss more and more. The uh, coming section here is just like the other section oh, between the end. Mm, Zenobian Potassium are holding huge combos, but oh, never mind. Zenobia no, missing. Potassium still holding on. Oh, oh never mind. He everyone has missed as well. Note. This is tragic. Look at. Jing's hit meter hits going uh, all the way to the right. Yes, that that was a that was very clear in Australia's favor. <laughs> yeah, Australia seems to be very physically capable to play this map in compare to in comparison to the Chinese team. Now, and MSL turns to pick now, and I'm, I'm not even sure anymore. Like, they're, they're like, probably long note picks are their best bet. Yeah, I think they're going for turn technical, like SV or long notes or hybrid, while the Australians oh. are going for rise, I think. I think well, no, no, yeah, no control is still available, although, like, uh, yeah, might, we have two SVs open, open, and yeah, we yeah. also have toys for minus four, which also has low gems. I cannot understand anything that they're saying, but I, I, I think it's an evil plan. Yeah, I think like, like they're just talking about like, yeah, I maybe mean, like, I don't know, man. How, how, how can you understand Moon <laughs> Yeah, I have no idea. They're probably like the hardest language to learn, like I don't even know. Yeah, it looks so complicated. <laughs> oh, they mentioned something about SBs, I think. Uh, I yeah, think it I think does look like it. Space. I think no control. There we go. Yep. Yes. We got it right. So, like, I think Crystal might be playing for Random Assault 5 because they're they're pretty well known as the player as well. Oh yeah, I think Crystal is a very balanced player when it comes to SV and such. And he doesn't even even only play Mini, he plays every single mode. It's pretty recognizable.
Oh, and we see Crystal joining the lobby. Yeah, yeah. No surprise at think, all. I don't think Fire Shocking Waves is making any changes. There's with the usual formation, Zenobia and Potassium. Yeah. Oh, so Crystal seems to have left it up? I have no idea what happened. Uh... Oh, you say wait a sec. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not sure if like no control could favor like for something like uh for like visual mod players for like potassium. I don't know how they can handle the teleport because they can't see anything. Yeah, I think potassium is going to have uh, not many problems compared to the others. I think potassium is pretty good at this piece and will manage to get a nice score. Now we have yet to see the Chinese team scores. Yeah, at least a little bit of an SV aspect side because we haven't seen the uh, the other like the other scores in particular, like if for instance like no mod visual players. Yeah, indeed. When you see someone playing his piece with flashlight, you just think about madness and such. But we never know. He might surprise us. Potassium say flashlight SV time. <laughs> I already know. I would like to say this is going to be a close match, but I don't think the Chinese team can hold pretty much on Rise, so I think the Australians should take advantage of that. Well, yeah, it's it's just gonna matter who takes the accuracy here most likely. Yeah. Because if this is like in the finals, I don't know how they can handle the crowds actually. Oh yeah. Some of them must were pretty pretty hard. Like I know you're like um you're also as a player. Yeah, um, as a know, player, you know, like from my perspective, team. I have suffered a lot from the pool. <laughs> I know, right? But like, unfortunate, like the uh, the, the yesterday's match was as actually a disaster. Yeah, I was angry. I had problems sleeping because I was nervous, and then th this happened, so I was rather angry. But yeah, let's get into the map. Uh, I don't think we're seeing any early misses. We see a 50 from Zenobia. Potassium with a lot of issues. Zenobia oh, we as well. see a break from Zenobia. It goes to the Chinese team flying. So far, is nothing. Uh, there's no lead. It's just like they're neck and neck. Oh yeah, the lead is going back to the Australian team actually, regardless of Potassium's F Oh, I mean Zenobia's miss. The Tassium with a rough start on the Akius is now come back to 98%. Yeah, I think he had a rough start, but he's uh, climbing back. Oh, we see from the chat that Seno might have missed at the start because he has a lane cover. He's playing with like auto hidden. So that, that might be why. Oh yeah, that kind of explains because the teleport is uh, with lane cover is actually ridiculously hard to hit. Yes, uh, we see a little bit of buffer. Uh, we see more accuracy problems from Zenobia, but this lead is still on the Australian team. And then this whole side has like two, almost 96. Potassium uh, yes. at 98, but Zenobia almost yeah. below as threshold. Oh, Crystal. Oh, yes. Crystal has missed, and Topo has missed. There are no full combos left for the Chinese team. Zenobia misses again, but Potassium F is still strong. But the lead is... they're almost equal. Yeah, they're it's pretty just... equal. We need to pray for Potassium F to not miss or column block or anything. If they want to win this. We see more misses Zenobia from Zenobia. Zenobia missed again. Now he's nearing the final steps, but... Oh, this is no nowhere over. Oh, the lady shrinking. Oh, this is getting close. Snowbia with a couple 200s, and that's no good. Yeah, we see the two of the champions here get. Oh, for combo, combo missed. but no, Tomo has missed. They have reset. He's multiplier. So I think with that, it might be sure to say that. Oh! We see more reasons from Zenobia. Oh, Zenobia, what a big mistake! Oh my oh, god, 2,000 points! Oh, it's flashing! Oh my oh, god! No. Oh, no, they took it by oh, 3,000 no. points. It this was at the well. very end. 3,000 so points lead. 
Oh, this is so sad. So I cannot see the Australian team picking anything but Rice at this point. I think. Uh, oh, they pick Hallelujah. This is pretty dense. And it plays also, awkwardly. Yeah, also worth mentioning that Potassium has a 4 combo in. Uh, oh, yeah, he has some going with it. Oh, wait, didn't he break early on? Because of that no, 50? Uh, the, oh, that's a 50, combo. but not a, not a combo break. Oh, great. He has full combo. That's a notable performance. They're picking Kaise Hallelujah. Oh, this map is painful. It is, it is not as like a paid blood on the media at least. Yeah, well, well, if you're a slow player like I am, like I do not get very notable scores on Bryce. I just go for long loads and such. I struggle a lot with this map. I, I have a lot of combo breaks, so the same might happen for the Chinese team. Well, it's a probably like classic Shigeza trademark patterns. Like this is so unconventional. Yeah, they are unconventional. They're just weird to play. They're not your usual hand stream, jump stream stuff. They get like dumpy and such. Pretty much. The map is not terrible, it's just hard. It's actually like a, one of the uh, notable Shigazer's decent dumb chart. Like, if you actually look up his uh, user profile, it's, the, yeah. it's on the list. <laughs> yeah. Jugator is pretty proud of some of his maps, and this is one of them, I think. Yeah, like, like I think, no, I think that's one of them at being Hollywood Squares as their actual good charts, but this one is also really decent. Yeah, this one is cool. I just can't play it, so I cannot judge properly. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Wait, we see the ref asking again what was our pick. Your their pick, I'm sorry. But they nice have look. picked it already, so nice referee. Uh, he's trying his best. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Yeah, 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 I know. Don't stop to the club, go silent. Also, I want to point out that it is 4 a.m. here, so if I leave out of nowhere, please don't miss me. Yeah, it's fine. Like, I know, like, uh, at this particular time, like, it should be like a sleep uh, bedtime for you then, in Argentina, maybe. Like. Well, I think Juan is sleeping, so that's important. He needs to sleep. He's well, tired oh, yeah, all he, the time. Yeah, because, like, yeah, he wants to sleep, right? Like, pretty much. Hmm, we see. Oh, wait. Is China, the Chinese team, missing one of their players? I think that's probably a disconnect, maybe. Oh, uh, well, it was already on, so they can just abort and start again. Yes, it was aborted. Yep. Uh, nope. What, what is happening? Uh... uh. Well, we see the Chinese team with 36 points. And wait. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening. I think they're just missing a player, so they just should abort and wait for them. Um, I think we should see a board just a moment. Yeah, I think it's they deserve an abort because it was very early on. Uh, well, it's not looking like it's aborting though. Uh, uh, can we get an abort, please? <laughs> I don't know if someone's. <laughs> Hearing this, but we'd like it aboard. Oh, I think they're just gonna have to play it again if the ref doesn't uh, register that one of the players is not actually on the lobby. I think we just we should let him know. Is Steve around? Yeah, I already I already know Steve, but I think 
Oh, he's mm, do not disturb on this girl, so I don't think he's getting any notifications, but I, I, I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, something like that. Wait, I, I, uh, are you know? So I think you can just join. Oh, same say that the player is in the wrong spot. What wrong spot? Maybe. Uh, it does not look like it because, like, in my stream layout, it's just pretty much in the same position. Uh, I have no idea what's happening, and the map is about to end. Uh, I have no idea what will happen. This is quite the accident. Dude, like, if this is actually not gonna be in the board, this is literally, uh, just messed up. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Well, we see a huge act difference in score difference, but... Oh, Tofus in the lobby. I think he played, but he's not showing up in the client. Oh, I think, oh. yeah, that yeah. would explain a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was just more of a... Client uh, mess up. So I think, uh, regardless of Tofu not showing up, uh, Fire Trucking Wheels has won this point by what it seems to be a lot. Well, let me actually check the MP link for a second. Yeah, you should. I don't have it, so. Oh, there it is. Uh, let's check. Yes, red team won by 92,000 points. So it was almost a uh, 100,000 points difference. Yeah, I think it's believed that uh, an MSL team has like one S rank outside of like two S ranks for our Indian yeah. team. Uh, yes. Sorry, uh, Australian team, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Uh, so, what it seems to be a huge error. Uh, went up pretty well behind the scenes. Uh, I mean, like, the, the, the rice picks not, are not favorable for Red MSO. I mean, like, they just could actually go to hybrids or, like, the longer picks. Yeah, I think they're picking low notes at this point. Uh, yeah, or they might just, just be, the waters. They just might be tossing a coin and praying for the origin to have not practiced uh, Toy 3 minutes. But I don't think that's gonna happen. World Vanisher, we might see uh, potassium. Uh, I, we might see potassium have a lot of struggles with slow jumps, uh, with flash lights. So, hmm. Uh, world Vanisher? You mean World Vanquisher, or you mean Anguish on Making? Well, that's the that's the name. Hmm. Might be a confusion. Oh, oh they picked it. Yeah. Oh, they picked three minutes. This is going to be risky, but it might be worth it. It might be a little worth it, yeah. But just just given how slow jam uh, works, it's just really gimmicky. And if you're actually having a, like a lot of trouble with slow jams, like maybe quote unquote potassium. I don't know, man. Like hmm. it could it could go favorable for both sides. It could go either way. I don't think we're seeing any switches from the Fire Walking Waves uh, team. Uh, we should tell Tofu to move to the to his place now, so he can show up on stream. Okay, I think like maybe Ryuza playing for this. Oh yeah, Ryuza might be playing this. Might they you know, might yeah, actually he's not known switching. for his long note scores, so. Oh yeah, there we go. He's yes. leaving. And I think like Crystal will be uh, just gonna be coming coming back for this. Hmm. So is Crystal come back? Uh, I have no idea. I see Ying Yao Song or whatever his name's spelled <laughs> like be in the W. I don't know. But we only see one player from each team. And we see in the chat that Ryusa might or might not be side reading this, which is going to be 
Uh, but it's risky. Uh oh, that's not good. But like, I mean, like the slow jabs are pretty noticeable with SVs anyway, so it's yeah. Not we don't really have like jumpy or teleports SVs. We just have slow jams, so hmm. It might not be as risky as teleport or, or anything. Well, probably like the notable is the big, uh, just like Alice and Mill control, which is not as yes. zombie as it. Oh yes, Alice is just disgusting. But yeah, we're getting into the uh, epic, and we see the four players soon, so they might have moved already. I would have expected Crystal to play this, but it seems that Yuni is staying. I think it might be for the long note stuff. I guess like if you can't if you can't inverse on this one, it, that might be a score killer too. Yeah, we can see a lot of column blocks here. Oh, we see a miss from Yusa and Ying at the same time. Oh yeah, that's a uh, this is trade still. And the score lead is just uh, still going on the uh, Australia team, yeah. Yes. I'm just really into it. Yin is suffering with accuracy a little bit more than uh, everyone else. Oh, yeah. Oh, Potassi missed us. Missed, so the oh, lead is that rushing. Was a and... Nasty rushing. Oh, we see another miss from Ying, so lead might be staying at the Australian team. Yeah, Potessi just dropped a whole percent on, on just one rush. Oh, that was painful. We see the mini jacks now. I don't think we're going to see any business in that. No at all. So it's kind of the inverse now. Oh, and we see no misses. Oh, impressive. So we're still holding the FC, looks like. Oh, yeah, so we're still seeing. Great. It's a pretty decent accuracy. I hope. It doesn't drop a lot in the slow jumps. Yeah, the upcoming slow jump is gonna be the And what else has missed? Right before the slow jumps, we see a miss from Yin. Oh, More misses from Yin. Them. Yin's taking a lot all over the place. Missed, and there are no full combos left, but Lee is still at the Oh no, the lead. Oh, oh no, Potassium lots. tanks a lot on this. No, this is tragic. Potassium has dropped so much accuracy, he's below the Potassium. S threshold again. Both players, Sien and Tassim, are below aspiration. Tassim seems getting a grip a lot, I guess. Yeah, we don't see Yusa struggling as much as I would have expected for a side tweet. He's doing pretty good, I think. And as I say that, he misses again. We see more misses from everyone is from Soho. Both we see players the, are the second and first part, and missing. they have a full combo it. Oh, great, we see no column blocks. Hmm, the, match is the map is approaching its last minutes, and I think it's going to be a point for the Chinese team. Don't call it too early, please. Well, there's not a lot of map left, and we don't have many complicated parts left, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is pretty weird to play, but I think that's it. Well, yeah, nearly 10,000 point lead for an MSL side. That's a, yeah. that's a pretty close one, actually. Yeah, I think the Chinese team's uh, points, uh, the ones that they have taken, were by not so many points, but the points that the Australian team has taken has been from a lot of points. Look at the graph for Potassium right there. It's just Oh, that's a, a huge slope. We see pretty good scores from Tofu and Ryuza. But yeah, that's a pretty close win, Tenemus outside. Although, like, um, it, it would have been like a game changer if Potassium doesn't miss a lot on that one. Yeah, yeah, I don't think they will have lost if Potassium hasn't, hadn't column blocked at all. That was a huge rush. Oh, they're picking Anguish. I'm making. Oh no. Or well, I think that it's going to be a very comfortable pick for them. I think but it's pretty it's obvious. I feel. Yeah, yeah, but like the, uh, I think like long accuracy might be favoring Australia a little bit though, because they're yeah. 
They're pretty much uh, the main carry of Mongols, seems like. Yeah. BSI and Potassium are very strong Domino players, while I don't know how they are going to perform regarding the Chinese team. And um, I think this is the very first uh, pure long node map we see in this match. So it's going to be a surprise. Well, given that judging the between like the inverse section of like Tori Stray score, I think they they're doing a little just fine on this. Given yeah, that there's quite a lot of inverse too at least. Yeah, this might be pretty even actually. I don't know. We might see the very first breakpoint of this match. So far it has been pretty even. Every team has won their own picks. Yeah, we're soon going to be starting in soon, and there we go. See how this works out for their team, for yeah, the Australians here. We have the same composition as the very uh, previous pick. We have no switches. Yep, no surprise at all. We use being like the carry of long nodes. Yeah. potassium. In oh, we see a Mr. Very early. Early draw. So we have a very small lead from the Australian team, but we see a miss from Yusa and another miss from Ye on. Oh, we see more misses from them. That's a double trade from combo. both players. They're still holding full combos. Yin's accuracy uh, is a little bit behind compared to everyone Oh, else. we see an Although, another bit of potassium. There are no full combos left on the Australian team. Is that enough to switch the lead back, though? <laughs> um, I think like uh, they're, pretty, they're still the same regardless because accuracy. Yeah, they're pretty... They're compensating their mind with accuracy. Yeah, Reza's climbing back to the 99 threshold. Oh, yes. It's doing pretty good now. He's recovered from his enemies. We're also seeing Ying with a very... What well, seems to be a very low 98? Or is it a 99? I think it's a 98. Yeah, I, can't I cannot tell. see the, the numbers very too, well. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the screen is too uh, small. <laughs> All of them are holding pretty much a big combo right now. I think Ying is getting his 400 combo back to get his max score. Yeah, they're getting, they're getting four points ahead right now. And they, yeah. this just this pattern section is just absolutely yeah. disgusting. There are bound to miss here. It is a very hard part on dance part. And this is going to take that. Misses. And yes, they take it. We see a full combo from Tofu. That was a very impressive thing. Potassium actually catching up to, to Topo's score, even with a miss. Yeah, we see a pretty even accuracy, but uh, Potassium is has a very, uh, I guess, fewer 200s, so that's compensating. Um, they both have two bad judgments. Uh, Topo has 200s and Potassium is with 100 and one miss. Yeah, that's going to tell us uh, about how they can perform on like pure long loop picks in the bowl, I guess? Hmm. So Fu is being a big tank in low notes, but I don't think Yin is catching up to him. It's 3 to 3 now, and it's still. We're back to where we started, so like they're still needing like 3 points to uh, win now. Yes, we're running out of maps. Uh, we might see very disgusting things ahead. Well, I mean, the map full size is like 16, so given that there's like 8 maps to go. Yeah. There's still like plenty, they, they still gonna get to choose whatever they want. Mm -hmm. Do you have any guesses for the Chinese team's pick? They could actually go for like another long term pick, even that the accuracies are pretty similar. It's just well, given how they, they tag still have Ghost. I think they still have Ghost. Oh yeah, but that's... But that's... Uh, Potassium's uh, gonna be like... Uh, gonna be how, the one who master that, because they yeah. give it a mapper. 
but we don't know if he, if anyone else from that team grabs it. Hmm, maybe another risky pick. So bitch, this match is pretty. It's more even than I thought it would be. Yeah, I like. I was expecting like a a, a little bit like uh, one sided to Australia for like yeah. for example like six two six three, but this is like tied neck and neck. Yeah, I expected us to grow a noticeable lead, but they're pretty even. Oh, they, and yeah. they picked on the FM, a second pure low Newton map. This one is pretty fun oh. to play, I have to admit. Oh, oh but I don't, I don't know if this is actually a good thing regardless, though. Yeah, it might be Just, very risky. Yeah, no, like the, what is it, like the releases of the walls? It's just like, uh, I don't know yeah. how you can sustain them this kind of long, though, too. Yeah, we see the hide OD plus score too, and you have a lot of you're gonna have a lot of problems with accuracy when releasing. We have we have a lot of different timings. So yeah, the match has started. We see an early break. So uh, I think my client like little. So I'm seeing pretty far ahead. Yeah, I think you're pretty much far ahead right now. I think we still have a lead for the Australian team. Uh, we see Ying struggling with accuracy, as we have seen earlier. Although the Australians are giving back accuracy for Yeah, they have like a 60k difference. That's a big difference, actually. Yeah, that's, that's actually pretty big. Not surprised. And we might see the very first breakpoint of this match. Oh yeah, like a one first breakpoint after all of that. Yeah. Oh, this this is going to be a huge advantage from the Australian team. If they win their next pick, and this one, they're going to be in match point. We see the stream dying a little, but I think it, yeah. is, <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty clear to see some things, like the scores and such. Yeah, uh, we see very big calls, and Ryusa has full combo of the map, I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a pretty uh, nice score by Musa. Yeah, that was a first break point of the match too. Is that a oh, four to three? And oh my, this is getting pretty even. I don't know what they're gonna pick, but I think they're going for vice again. Although they might go Although, for like, gate openers. Oh yeah, gate opener. I think gate openers might also be one of their best uh, picks for Australia yeah. right now. I think Ryosa is going to have a very good score in it. I think he's going to perform very well in it. Yeah, I think like rice picks. Rice picks are generally like uh, good picks too, but like going for like something like Ringo's Tea Party or like gate openers is like one of their best picks. Regardless. Mm, yes, indeed. I think Ringo's Tea Party is also very risky, but I don't think. They're going to lose it, actually. Hmm. Yeah, we have a lot to choose from. Oh, they're going for Ringo's Tea Party. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, now that they have seen uh, NMS, wait, what's, what's the name of the NMSL's low note uh, uh, skills, they might have to uh, go and choose. Yeah, I think it's like, I think like uh, they're pretty much like losing on long note things. Like, let's go for like another long note thing. Like, that's yeah. pretty normal. Yeah, they're just taking advantage. It's pretty fair. I think the Chinese team has run out of 
their auxiliary picks and technical picks, and they just have the regular standard maps left. Also worth mentioning that this map is pretty long. I think it's the longest uh, Lunar map alongside uh, Gate Openers. I think it's 3 minutes and a half well, or something like that. Well, I think it's like the second longest one. Gate Openers are like yeah. 4 minutes straight Yeah, on. Gate Openers is just very long, but I don't think they're gonna pick it. It's just very tiring, yeah. Whatever. I do not <laughs> have fun playing that. Well, I... It's meant to be like a, a game of, uh, what is it, like life reset ish, but it's not like, it's not too bad. Yeah. It's like a, it's a, a very mixture of long note and vice. Pretty much. Although, like, uh, probably like on the Twitch stream, like, like people are already saying, like, good luck, but they can't see even the map because they haven't downloaded the map full, uh, the maps, looks like. Uh oh. I think we're having some uh, issues to stream, but uh, I think it's going pretty well right now. It's a little bit fixed. Yeah, hopefully it gets a little bit fixed. Although I think like the um, maybe oh. like the streamer has its internet a little bit dying there, so I think yeah, it might be possible. I think it's possible to restart the stream.